Hey, what's up guys? It's Lewis Beasley and in this video, we're going to be upgrading the power supply and video card in the Dell XPS 8900. That being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. You'll need two tools to pull this upgrade off, a Phillips screwdriver and a little bit of patience. Due to the small interior size of this case, the removal and install process can be a little bit tedious at times. However, to avoid damaging your hardware, simply put on a shirt of patience and seriously, take your time. So we're first going to remove the 460 watt factory power supply and install a 750 watt power supply made by Corsair, followed by the GeForce GTX 980 video card. Though the GTX 980 only calls for a 500 watt power supply, I'm adding a little more overhead for the future. Now, one question I'm asked often is, will a bigger power supply fit into the XPS 8900 case? The answer is yes, and we're about to see. Before removing the side panel on your XPS, make sure the power and all external connections are unplugged. Additionally, it's best to make sure you are well grounded. You don't want to take a risk with damaging the internal components. After removing the side panel, unplug the main ATX power connector. This is the largest connector that's plugged into your motherboard. You'll also want to unplug the 12 volt 4 pin connector as well. Once you have the two main power connectors unplugged, you can begin unplugging the other connectors coming from the power supply. Now, once you have all the connectors coming from the power supply unplugged, you can begin loosening the four screws on the back of the XPS that hold the power supply into place. Once removed, you will need to push down on the two metal stoppers that keep the power supply from sliding backwards. I was able to push down on the one closest to the motherboard and it stayed down. The other one closest to the wall required a little more muscle. Simply pressing it down with your screwdriver while simultaneously pushing back on the power supply should do the trick. Because of the size of my new power supply, I will only need to do this once. The new power supply is bigger, therefore it will cover these two bump stoppers. When installing your new power supply, be careful not to damage the thicker black wire that houses the wiring for the two USB ports, microphone port, and earphone jack on the top of the XPS. You will need to gently push it out of the way when sliding in the new power supply. Once you have the new power supply into position, you can screw it into place and reconnect the wiring as needed. Be sure to plug in both the ATX connector and the 4-pin 12-volt connector. These two connectors provide power to your motherboard. When complete, be sure to take time and look over all your connections to ensure everything is connected and nothing accidentally came unplugged in the process. When installing the GTX 980, keep in mind that this card requires two openings on the back. So first and foremost, we need to remove the screw from the slot plate so that we can open up an additional slot right next to the main slot where the GTX card will be installed. We're now ready to install our video card. Simply place it into the first PCI slot and lightly press down to ensure it's tight and snug. You will likely have to maneuver the main USB power cable out of the way and any other wiring. Just be careful not to force the card into place. After the card is firmly in the PCI slot, you can now secure it into place by reinstalling the slot plate and the screw that secures that plate into place. Again, look over all your wiring to ensure that nothing came loose or disconnected during the process. Once you have verified this, you can replace the side panel on the tower, reconnect your peripherals, power up the unit, and use the installation CD to install the drivers. To ensure you're installing the latest drivers, you can navigate to geforce.com backslash drivers to download the latest. 
Well guys, that just about wraps it up for this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and leave me a comment down in the description and let me know what type of videos you wanna see in the future. Also, I have included a link down in the description for the power supply that I purchased for this upgrade. That being said, I will see you YouTubers and you YouTubettes in the next video. Sound you later.